Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I've got a card featuring a product from the new Waffle Flower release that released today. It is a cute card featuring this mailbox die. It's a little bit of an interactive die. Here is a look at the card that we will be making today and let's get into the project. So I've got everything already die cut. Here is that base die. And then I've got all of the other dies here that come with this die set. So that is that big die. Kind of looks weird when you look at it as a die, but once you cut it out, it makes a lot more sense. I've also got this diamond texture uh, cover plate die, which is a previous Waffle Flower release that I'll be using for the background. And also with that die set, as you saw when I showed you, it came with all of those little envelopes to decorate and a few other things, a wax seal, a heart, and the little flag for the mailbox. So conveniently, those are all the same die and they all are kind of red. Here I have got, I'm putting everything aside and I'm gonna start assembling. So I'm just folding at the score lines and reinforcing that with a bone folder. And then I will fold the opening of the mailbox before we get too much further in, I'm gonna do my stamping. So before I adhere anything together, I thought it would be easiest to do my stamping now. So here in my Misty, I've got um, a stamp set and I'm gonna be using the sentiment set that says big hugs inside. Lining that up and I'm just gonna stamp that with black ink. By the way, the cardstock that I use to make the mailbox is Simon Says Stamp Fog. Just using some black ink and going ahead and stamping that sentiment down. This will have it so that the outside of the mailbox will say big hugs inside. Putting away my Misty for a minute and I am going to start the assembly process just using a permanent dot runner to add down to that panel. You could also use some score tape. In fact, that would probably be better so that it really, really stays shut. And I am just going to adhere that down. Now you can probably see on this die cut, it does make little um, kind of half moon shape slits. You could put a gift card inside of this mailbox. I'm not um, today, but I will probably use it like that in the future. Now I'm going to go ahead and stamp the second sentiment that came from that same sending love stamp set. It says happy Valentine's day. Now I'm getting everything ready to do the adhering. So you can kind of see how this is going to look sitting on that diamond weave uh, cover plate die that's just out of white cardstock, nothing fancy. I'm going to make this a little bit interactive um, by making the flag on the box move. So I'm just poking a hole with a die piercing tool, both on the flag and then on the little edge of the mailbox. I'm going to be using one of these teeny tiny little brads. The hole I poked is not very large and also the end of that flag is, is not large either. So just going ahead and putting this brad through the flag and then I will stick it through the mailbox. So that way you can kind of open, you know, put the flag up or put it down and it, and it moves, making this card a little bit more interactive. These little mailboxes from the die remind me so much of elementary school and passing out Valentine's. And I had a teacher once and we would put these little mailboxes on our desks and everybody put the Valentine's in there. So I think that was the inspiration behind this card and using this die to make a Valentine's Day card. So just lining up that mailbox, sticking it down, and now I can work on the inside. So I'm gonna kind of spruce up a little bit um, these envelopes. And I'm not going to use them all. I think that would be too many. Um, but I've but I've got a variety here. So 
I am going to take um, the front of one and the back of another and just scribble on using some R29 marker. And then when I glue these together, it will shine through because that die cuts out the postage stamps and then the line where you would put the address. So just going ahead, adding down that color everywhere where I think I need it, probably a little bit too much, but that's okay. And then it kind of becomes this more dimensional piece. Going ahead and sticking down some of that same dot runner and gluing these two pieces together. From there, I will be using the pink envelope and adding on that wax seal. I think that adds just a little something. And I love that I get to use more of that red cardstock. Taking the little heart and adding it to uh, the lid of my mailbox on the inside, just adding another pop of color for a little surprise for whoever gets to open up this mailbox. Now I am going to kind of build out how I think I want this to look. So just adding these in, I want it to look like the mailbox is overflowing with all of the Valentine's Day cards, really making it look cute and full. So I'll have the one white envelope, the one pink envelope, and uh, the one red, the small red one. So now I'm just adhering these down and inside. I end up putting that red one up a little bit higher. And I think that that looks so, so cute. So now basically my card is complete. All that is left to do is to just adhere this um, to an A2 card base. I use Nina Classic Crest Solar White 110 pound for my card bases. So just going ahead and lining that up. And once that it is here down, my this card is complete. It's pretty simple to make, um, but I think because it has that little bit of an interactive element, it makes it really fun and really special. And I think anybody that you sent this to would really appreciate it. Again, this is from a new release that came out, if you're watching this on the day I post today, um, December the 5th for Waffle Flower. A link down below to all of the products and that I use, as well to my uh, blog post, post, which will feature all of the cards that I made using this release. I hope that you enjoyed this video, and I hope to catch you in the next one. Please subscribe if you haven't, or click to watch another video to watch more from me. Thank you so much.